Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup channel. Today I'm going to do a little bronzer collection. As you can see I have them all laid out here. This is going to include bronzers and contours. And I may even do some swatches. So let's just get right into it. So let's go ahead and start off with my cream products. I have the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer in Baked. And it looks like that. Nice, creamy bronzer. Oh, come on. Actually, let's go in. This is the Huda Beauty Tantour in Fair. Put that right there. As you can see, a little bit more cool toned than the milk. And my last cream product is a contour. This is the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Amber. And as you can see, it's extremely cool toned. I love using this as a contour. It's a really excellent shade. Because I'm so fair, it has to be very ashy to be a contour on me. And this is a bit more of a dry formula, which is good because it will stay in place where you put it, which is nice. So that's the creams. So the next category I've pulled out is drugstore. We have Morphe, Elf, Makeup Revolution, Milani, and Kiko. Now, Kiko is a tad, tad bit pricey for drugstore prices. Oh, I also have a L'Oreal and a L'Oreal. Kiko is a little expensive for the drugstore pricing, but I, it's not quite high end or mid range or anything. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it here. I think. Now you may be asking me, Martha, why do you have so many bronzers? And the answer is, in February, I went on a quest for bronzers because I only had a couple that I liked and I wanted to have more options. So I kept getting some bronzers and some of them worked, some of them didn't, so I kept getting more bronzers. So I have like quite the collection. Anyways, let's carry on with these drugstore ones. We'll start with the Morphe. This is the Brontour in Glitterati has a shimmer side and a matte side. So let's do official swatching. Shimmery, matte, and why don't even do a swirl together. A little bit on the gold inside, but not the worst. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sun Kissed. Now this one is too dark and too red for me. Give that a little swatch. It's very pigmented and it feels really nice if you're looking. If you're darker than me, you might really like that one. This is the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in Holiday Romance. This is a baked bronzer and it's very fair and it's nice and glowy, which is nice. Nice for a light bronze in the summer or a very fair person like myself in the winter. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. This is in 01 Light. Now, this is much more on the cool tone side, but again, glowy. But I quite like it. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunlit. No, Sunlight 01. 
This is a matte, but again, much more on the cool tone side. And this is my summer bronzer. <laughs> this is the Kiko Ocean Feel Bronzer in O2 Natural Sienna. Definitely shouldn't have bought shade 2, but I thought it was going to be more cool toned than shade 1. Um, joke's on me, it's orange, but <laughs> it's not too dark so I can actually kind of make it work in the summer. So I keep it around. Now, let's get into the more high-end, mid-range bronzers. We'll start on this side. We have the Jouer Bronzing Duo. This is in light medium, sunlight and sun tan. They're both on the matte side. And slightly, mm, kind of a neutral tone. But I do enjoy those. This is the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. Has the peacock in it. And if you swirl them together, it's not a bad shade. Nice and glowy. This is the Balm's Take Home the Bronze in the shade Oliver. This is a nice cool toned option. And cute tiny little dinky packaging. This is the Pure Bronzing Act Bronzing Matte Bronzer. This one looks pretty janky because I just had it in my project pan. And bam, we have some nice pan. This is in the light shade, and you will see it is incredibly light, which works well for me. And more, slightly more on the cool tone side. This is the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer in In the Sun. This is a night light, more of a neutral tone bronzer, I'd say. A little bit more pigmented than the pure one, but a lovely bronzer nonetheless. And lastly, we have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Matte bronzer, a little bit more cool toned. Although it looks more warm than the Fenty. So perhaps not. And that is my collection of mid-tone, not mid-tone, mid-range bronzers. The third category is the very stupid expensive bronzer category. And we will start with the contour. This is the Kevin Aquan V Sculpting Powder in the shade Light. It is a love little contour, but I mean, you get tiny, a tiny amount of product for what this is. Four grams, four grams. But a nice contour. I also have the Kat Von D, sorry, KVD Vegan Beauty um, contour shade in somber, but I don't have it with me at this current moment but it's very similar. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Golden Light. And I will say, very, very warm. Very, very warm. Especially in, consider in comparison to that contour powder. Very, very terracotta. Not a great shade for me, but this is the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder in the light shade. Yes, 
light. Now I will say that this is more of a bronzy shade on me, but it is still more warm tone than I was hoping it would be. And it's very, very pigmented. So it's not perfect for my fair skin. Next up we have the Marc Jacobs Fantastic Omega Bronzer. And I mean, it's just so luxe. It's so beautiful. It's so lovely. It's so smooth. I wish it was a touch cooler, but other than that, I really like it. Even if it's just for the packaging. I was suckered in, but I'm going to use this, baby. Next, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. So this is the sculpt side, and I will even swatch the highlight shot side just for fun. Not my favorite of highlights. There we have it, but the bronzer is a nice shade on me. The highlight I just find is too Too powdery, not enough impact, kind of chunky, not my favorite. Lastly in this category is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer in Bronze 01. And again, this is going to be a bit warm, but not too terrible. Definitely not in the same vein as that Bobbi Brown one. Definitely more of a summer bronze than a winter bronze. And there we have that. That has been the stupid expensive bronzer category. Now the final category of the bronzers is the Franken makeup category. Let's start over here. These two pans are combined and frankened of Hoola and Hoola Light with some of a contour shade mixed in there to lighten it up a touch and make it a bit cooler. And that's what we're looking like there. Still a little bit too pigmented for my personal preference, but I did I do like this better than I liked either of them before. Here we have the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea, and you may be able to tell half of it is missing. This side is too dark, too golden, not right for me, but this paler side was much closer to what I was after. So, I took that out, I mixed in some contour, and a little bit of setting powder to lighten it up, and it might be dry enough for a swatch now. And that is where we are at. So, hopefully I'll be able to get some use out of that one. Now that it suits my needs better. And this was the Winky Lux Latte Coffee Bronzer. Again, I frankened it. I don't know if... The, this formula seems very, very strange. So I don't think I'm going to like this, even though I've changed it. But I have at least attempted to make the color better. Which it is. I don't know if the formula is any better. But again, I mixed this with a contour shade. And we'll see if I can at least get some money back out of this. <laughs> and that is the end of my bronzers. Oh shoot, oh shoot. I didn't know that was there. Let's put you back in a magnetic palette where you are safe. And just to be totally transparent, not that I have to be, I am trying to sell the Too Faced and the Elf on my Poshmark. And I think I might put up the Morphe and the Bobbi Brown because they're just not not my kind of shades. 
And there we have it, the bronzer collection. Let me know what you'd like to see a collection of next, and I'll try and make it happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog, and I will see you next time. Bye!